Hi, all my beautiful peacocks out there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited to bring you my latest video, which is going to be a perfume haul. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope your holidays were wonderful and also, you know, a new year. So 2019 is very exciting for me. I hope to do some new things this year and my channel is really growing. I'm almost to 4,000 subscribers and I'm very, very excited about that. And it's all because of you. So I just wanted to tell y'all thank you very much. And if you're not, of course, subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button before you leave. So if you're interested in watching a perfume haul, just kind of see some things that I got before Christmas, um, like for Christmas, <laughs> after Christmas, and also uh, actually got something in a giveaway that I can't wait to share with you. So if you're interested in this, just keep on watching and let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I actually want on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, you really should be because they have fragrance companies. They're always giving away things and also like fragrance uh, pages and fragrance YouTubers. So they're always constantly doing giveaways and we're always like kind of, or me and my friends are always kind of like, you know, getting into those giveaways and trying to win perfumes and I actually won something. I was very, very excited and this was from Fragrance Net. So the perfume that I want to share with you is Betsy Johnson and it is called Pretty in Punk and it also has Betsy Johnson's signature on the back of it. So very, very cute packaging, super, super kind of sweet. If I can get the top off, <laughs> there we go. Um, but it's just a sweet scent, floral, sweet floral. Oh my goodness. It kind of reminds me of the Viva La Juicy lines. Um, kind of get that vibe from it. But if you'd like for me to do a full review on this perfume, I will definitely do that for you. But I wanted to just share this with you first uh, in the video because it's something that I didn't purchase for myself. I was just so excited that I actually won this perfume. Very, very good, sweet, floral perfume. And like I said, if you want me to do a review over this perfume, I can definitely do that for you. But it is a really nice fragrance. I really like it. Also, I did talk about these in my uh, fragrance videos for winter, and this was the Tom Ford uh, Noir Pour Femme, and I did pick that up, as well as the Armani Code Satin. And I'm, I'm definitely doing a review over satin versus my Armani Code Cashmere, and that video should be coming up this week. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. Okay, so let's just get into some of the perfumes that I actually purchased myself. Okay, this perfume I didn't have in my collection. Wanted it for the longest time, and it's called La Femme by Prada. And I was very excited. This is an Eau de Parfume. I was very excited to get this perfume. Everybody told me how good this perfume is. Let me put this box down. So here is the packaging. Look how pretty that is so classy i mean what do you expect from prada but just a gorgeous package and i kind of talked to a couple of my friends about this perfume and they seemed to tell me that it was just very light it's very feminine and those are all true just a light feminine soft and it's almost like cloud like i don't know how to explain that just fluffy like a cloud, um, very soft, and just not something that would impose on someone else. I think this would be a great fragrance for like work or, you know, in a close, intimate kind of atmosphere where you're not wanting to offend anyone. Uh, very non-offensive, and I think this is a very beautiful fragrance. And again, if you want me to do a full review on this fragrance, I can do that for you, but it's just very, very light and fluffy. Just very, very pretty, very soft. Okay, so last week I actually went to Houston and I went to Ulta, I was spraying perfumes like crazy, spraying them on my wrist and I didn't bring anything in to jot this down 
you know, of what I was doing. I don't know if you've ever done that before, but I totally kind of went crazy. So, because I haven't really been shopping, I've been shopping online. I don't really go to Ulta and buy in store. I try to get stuff when it's on a discount. But anyway, I was spraying and I had this scent on my wrist that I just fell in love with. And I thought it was this perfume that I had sprayed. So I purchased this perfume. And luckily, I had watched uh, Rhonda Larissa's video. And she um, had a little link about this perfume. So, because it was discounted. So I'm thankful that I only paid $34 for this perfume because this is not the perfume that I sprayed. This is Dolce & Gabbana's Rosa Excelsis. And this is not the perfume that I sprayed inside Ulta. I've got to find out what this perfume is. Um, I don't know if you follow Vix Mix, but she has a channel, perfume channel, and um, she talks about a lot of different things, but she is a fragrance lover, and she has a lot of fragrances. She's just adorable. Um, but I was telling her my whole story about this, getting this fragrance, and I'm like, I've got to go back and, and see what I am smelling or what I was smelling on my wrist that day because I absolutely fell in love with it. Now this, let me get into this. Now this is very beautiful packaging. I really, really like this packaging, um, but it's definitely <laughs> rose. I mean, that's the first thing. I think they use like two kinds of roses in this particular fragrance. So it's definitely a rose fragrance. I'm not huge on rose fragrances, but I have to say I sprayed it and I was like, freaking out and um, talking to my friend and I was like, you know, this is just not what I wanted and I, I just don't, I don't really, I don't know if I like this fragrance. As it dried down, it became a lot more mellow and light floral and not so rosy. So it, I think this is a fragrance it, for me anyway, I think this is a fragrance that you have to spray a couple of times and it kind of has to, you know, it kind of has to build up that um, likability, I would say, for me. And it's very soft, very floral, very feminine. And I think as it dries down, I think it smells a lot better than just when you first spray it. That's in my opinion. But isn't this packaging just adorable? I, I so love Dolce & Gabbana's packaging. I think it's so cute. But yeah, definitely, if you love rose fragrances, you will definitely love this fragrance. Okay, the next fragrance is by Sud Pacific. I'd had so many people tell me, because I love vanilla, that I need to try the vanilla cocoa. So, of course, I bought it. And here's the bottle. It's not a very big bottle. But oh my goodness, the scent is amazing. I love this fragrance. It's definitely vanilla and cocoa. I mean, that's it. That's what I smell. I mean, it's almost like um, when you smell like a Joe Malone fragrance, how it has in the description of what you're smelling, and that's exactly what you're smelling. Yes, I definitely love this. Or one of those Demeter fragrances where it's like vanilla ice cream. It smells just like vanilla ice cream. Well, this is what this smells like, vanilla cocoa. Oh, it's so rich. I'm gonna spray it. It's so rich. Mm, I get that cocoa right away mixed with the vanilla and it just smells amazing. If you haven't tried any of these, you need to check these out. But that's what I picked up. I got this one from Sephora, I believe, yes. Okay, this fragrance I have been wanting for a long time as well. This is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. Now, they have the intense version. This is just the regular version, the original. Parfum, Eau de Parfum. Oh my God, I love this fragrance. Oh my goodness, my lid's coming off already. But this is the bottle here. Love it, love the packaging. It's very just simple, simple packaging, but I love it, I think it's chic. The box is, you know, like a velvet box, so. Oh my goodness, this perfume. I love this perfume. I think this is something that, and I've been wearing the heck out of it. I don't know if you can see how much is missing already. And I got this like right before Christmas. Do you see that? Do you see that? 
Oh my god, I just like douse myself in it. It's sweet. It's marshmallow. That's definitely what I smell is marshmallow. Oh my goodness, and it's so light and so airy and so fluffy and feminine. It's so beautiful. And now I want the intense version of this. Yes, because I've heard that the intense version, a little bit stronger and a little, it lasts a lot longer um, on your skin. But I don't have any problems with this right now. It's, you know, cooler temperatures here and it's working so well for me. I absolutely love this. Y'all need to check this out. Dolce & Gabbana Parfum, and oh, it's my new baby. I love it, it smells so good. Okay, the next fragrance that I picked up, and this is by Killian, and I love this. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> but basically, it's called Princess. Here's the front of the packaging. And it's a unique type bottle, and I don't own any Killian fragrances, but it comes in, it's like this. This is how you stand it up, like that. But um, <laughs> this fragrance is so good. I wore this yesterday to work, and I absolutely love this fragrance. It's sweet, but it has like such a... A different vibe than just a sweet fragrance and it's spicy it has like a different fragrance I don't know vibe to it than just a gourmand fragrance has vanilla in it I know for sure oh my goodness it's just so unique and if you want me to do an in-depth review on this fragrance I could definitely do that for you oh my goodness I just don't know how to explain this it's so unique it's almost like it's it's like a badass fragrance, like something sweet that you would smell on like a, a femme fatale. And oh, I just love it. It's gorgeous. I really, really like this fragrance. Princess by Killian. Definitely need to go and sniff this one. I got this at Sephora, so you definitely need to try this one. Oh my goodness. Are you reading the box? Are you reading what this says? <laughs> yes, this is Black Opium Intense version. I had to get this baby. Oh, yes. And look at the bottle. It's like the other bottles, but it's blue. Look how gorgeous this is. I don't know if that's picking up or reading on the camera right, but it's a blue package. Let's see if I can put this by there. It's blue. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> and of course, I, want, I was thinking that it was going to smell different, you know, just totally different than the original Black Opium. But it does, it's not. It smells just like the original to me, but I haven't done a wear test on it yet. I plan to do a wear test so that I can compare the two to see if this is actually worth your money and worth your buy. But... I'm hoping that they don't let me down and it does last a lot longer than the original. Um, it's kind of uh, mid, I would say mid-range wear for the original. It depends on the weather. So I can get a lot more longevity out of uh, the original if the weather's just right. But, oh, I just sprayed that. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells so amazing love love this so definitely think I'm going to do a comparison video with this and the original and if you want to see that give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below okay and look at this one yep intense version eau de parfum intense coco mademoiselle I actually got a sample of this and I absolutely love this fragrance. It's a little different than the original. I have to say this one is probably my favorite of the two. It's so much softer. You know how the original has kind of more of a, I know everybody's like, oh, it's so feminine and everything, but it almost kind of smells a little masculine to me. This one does not. This one's totally softened. I mean, it's just so feminine, gorgeous scent. 
Oh, love it. And of course, you know, the packaging is just to die for. I love, love, love this packaging. So I will be letting you know more about this intense version in my upcoming videos. Okay, I had to save the absolute best for last. I had to, oh my God, I got this perfume. Finally, this has been on my radar for so, so long. And so this was kind of a pre-Christmas gift to myself. And this is by Parfums de Marly and it is Delina look at this packaging oh my goodness I have been waiting to get this now they have other versions of this perfume out that I hope to acquire someday these fragrances are not cheap they're well, very pricey but I did get this one on fragrancenet.com at a very discounted rate so if you are looking for a perfume like this or you're looking for this perfume, definitely try FragranceNet.com because they have this on their website. Love it. All the velvet packaging inside. Oh, it's just like cradling my baby here. Look at how beautiful this bottle is. I just absolutely love this bottle. The tassel, the, oh, just everything about it. It's just, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. So to go over this fragrance, Oh my goodness. It's like a soft, floral, sweet. I just want to, I just want to spray this all over my body, close my eyes, and just drift off into this wonderful dream. I mean, this is a fantasy in a bottle. I really, really love this. It's feminine, soft, floral, sweet. It's just done right. I mean, everything about this perfume, it's what I had hoped for and more. <laughs> I love this fragrance. This is pretty close to being one of my top favorite fragrances. So yeah, that's saying a lot. So I definitely am going to be doing a full review on this beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And if you wanna see that, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, but I'm gonna be doing it anyway. Oh my goodness, love, love, love this fragrance. So definitely be looking for that video coming soon. And look at the top, it has like the pink, I can do it, take it off here like a pink little gemstone in the top of it. It's just gorgeous and it's so heavy. I mean, the lid is heavy. Love, love, love. Oh, and this smells so good. Got to smell this. Love it. Okay, so that wraps up my haul for 2019 um, and it's really my first haul video of this year, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I would love to know some of the fragrances that you've gotten since I've spoken to you last. Just share it with me down in the comments down below. If you like this video, definitely leave me a thumbs up. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button today and also hit that notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. So I hope to talk to you in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Lots of love and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.